Chapter 1 Old Meets New What do people know about Japan? Japan is in East Asia, in the Pacific Ocean. Most people know that. Many people like sushi, and that comes from Japan. And everyone knows about Japanese sumo wrestling. But there are a lot more amazing things about this country. Japan is one of the most exciting countries in the world. It is also a country with many different faces. In Japan, East meets West and Old meets New. Here you can find beautiful old wooden houses and big, tall modern buildings. In one street you can visit ancient temples and shrines and buy the newest computer games. Japan has some of the biggest cities in the world and some of the most beautiful countryside. Japan is a country of islands. It has four big islands, Honshu, Hokkaido, Kyushu, and Shikoku, and nearly 7,000 smaller ones. The country has many mountains, and there is not a lot of good land for buildings. Most Japanese people live in the big cities in the south and west of Honshu, away from the mountains. There are 128,000 people in Japan, and nearly 69 million of them live near the Pacific Ocean between the capital city, Tokyo, and Osaka. You can find very different weather in the different islands of Japan. In the island of Hokkaido, the winters are long and cold, and the summers are warm. But in Okinawa and the Ryukyu Islands in the south, it is warm in the winter and hot in the summer. So in December in Japan, you can go in the sea in the south and go skiing in the mountains in the north. Millions of people visit Japan every year. Japanese people like to help these visitors, and they are very polite to them. This is a very important thing for most Japanese people. They want to be polite to everyone. Work and the family are also very important in Japan. Most Japanese people have two religions, Shintoism and Buddhism. People go to temples and shrines, and there are also many Shinto and Buddhist festivals in the year. Some of Japan's industries make a lot of money. Japan makes about 10 million cars every year, and its electronics industry, cameras, computers, phones, and televisions, is famous around the world. Japan is always changing. It often makes or does new things first, and countries in the West often change things to be like Japan. But Japan does not forget its past. In the countryside, many Japanese work as farmers. They grow rice and catch fish like people. Hundreds of years ago, Many people came to Japan for business, but many also came to see the country's beautiful art, temples, and gardens. They go to the theater and eat well in Japan's many wonderful restaurants. Japan has something for everyone. Its cities are new and exciting. But this amazing country has ancient buildings and culture, too. Chapter 2 Emperors, Samurai, and Shoguns Many of the important things about life in Japan today were also important more than 1,500 years ago. Japan is near to Korea and China, and many ideas came to ancient Japan from people in these countries like Korean and Chinese people. The ancient Japanese learned to grow rice and to make cloth. 
Buddhism came to Japan from Korea and China, and by the Japanese began to use Chinese kanji, or picture words for writing. From the 600s, emperors ruled Japan. Families came together into groups called clans around these important rulers. The clans fought for power all the time. In 794, the Japanese emperor moved his home to Kyoto. This was a quiet time in Japan, and art and writing became very important in the early 1000s. In Kyoto, a woman called Murasaki Shikibu wrote the tale of Genji, and people read this interesting book even now. At this time, Fighters became very powerful in Japan. At first, they worked for important men in different parts of the country. When the fighters were there, the land and homes of these men were safe. But the very best fighters now made new clans called samurai. The samurai were very powerful. The most powerful of the samurai were called shoguns. And these shoguns wanted to rule Japan. In 1185, the emperor lost power, and Minamoto no Yoritomo became the first shogun ruler of Japan. For the next 700 years, different shoguns ruled Japan, and again and again, the clans fought. In 1600, the shoguns of the Tokugawa clan came to power. The first of these, Tokugawa Iyasu, made his home at Edo, now Tokyo. Now they were in power. The Tokugawa shoguns wanted to stay there. They made a class system. They gave everyone a place from the shoguns and samurai at the top, down to farmers and workers. Under the Tokugawa, Edo became bigger and more important, and there was a lot of art and theater. But in 1639, the Tokugawa closed Japan to the world. For 200 years, people from other countries could not come in and out of Japan, and Japanese people could not leave. This stopped in 1853 when American ships came to Japan. They wanted to buy Japanese goods and to bring American goods into Japan. The Tokugawa shoguns now lost their power, and from 1868 the emperors again ruled Japan. After this, Japan began to change. The emperor broke down the class system of the Tokugawa shoguns. School became a part of life for all Japanese children. Japan began to make things and sell them to other countries, and people came to Japan to do business. Toyota Sakichi was a very important person in Japan at this time. First, he changed things in the cloth industry, and after that, people could work better and faster. Later, his business began to make cars, too, and the Toyota Motor Corporation was born. Japan fought in the First World War, 1914-18, and by the 1920s, it was an important country in the world. In the Second World War, 1939 to 45, Japan fought in the Pacific. In August 1945, U.S. atomic bombs killed more than 200,000 Japanese in the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Bombs destroyed many of Japan's cities and industries in the war. But because Japanese people worked hard and had good ideas, Japan's industries began to grow. At first, Japan made cars, ships, and steel. 
But in the 1970s, the electronics industry became more important. Japan began to make phones, televisions, computers, and cameras. Soon, Japan was famous around the world for its new ideas in the electronics industry. Then, from the 1990s, industries in other countries in Asia began to grow, and there were hard times for Japan. But Japan is the country of Canon, Toyota, Mitsubishi, and Sony. And we see names like these every day on things in our homes, schools, and places of work. Chapter 3 Earthquakes and Volcanoes On 11 March 2011, there was a big earthquake east of the city of Sendai in the northeast of Japan. Then, a tsunami 40 meters high came onto the land and destroyed everything in front of it. More than 18 people died, and many more lost their homes. This was not Japan's first big earthquake. In 1995, the Great Hanshin earthquake killed more than 6,000 people in and near the city of Kobe and destroyed more than 100,000 buildings. And in 1923, the Great Kanto earthquake destroyed a lot of Tokyo. But new buildings and roads in Japan are better now. They move a lot in an earthquake, so the earthquake does not destroy them. Because of this, in March 2011, many buildings stayed standing in the earthquake, but the tsunami brought them down. There are about 1,500 earthquakes a year in Japan, but most of them are small. So why does Japan have so many earthquakes in this part of the world? Under the Pacific Ocean, the land is always moving. Because of this, there are often earthquakes and many of Japan's mountains are volcanoes. About 15 times a year, people near a volcano in different parts of Japan see smoke and hear noise from the mountain. The most famous volcano is Mount Fuji, the highest mountain in the country at 37 and 76 meters. Mount Fuji is very beautiful, and many people visit it because of Japan's many volcanoes. It also has more than 2,000 hot springs. Many people come to the springs to keep well or just because they like the warm water. People in Japan must be careful about volcanoes and earthquakes, but sometimes they must keep safe in typhoons too. Typhoons come from the Pacific. They bring very bad weather with powerful winds. They usually come to Japan between July and October. Typhoons destroy buildings and roads. Hills sometimes break away in the rain, and often people die when there is a big typhoon or an earthquake. Japanese people move quickly. In a typhoon, they stay in their buildings and move away from windows. In an earthquake, they move under a table and stay safe there. Chapter 4 Life in Japan Most Japanese people live in cities, but others live in the suburbs places near a big city, and go to and from work every day. Their working day is usually very long, and often they live far away from their work. There are many, many people and cars in Japanese cities, and sometimes there is bad air pollution. There are lots of buses and trains in Japan, and they are usually very good. Trains carry thousands of people under the big cities. Other trains, called Shinkansen, go across the country. Shinkansen are some of the best trains in the world. They can go at 300, 
They are nearly always on time. What are Japanese homes like? Old Japanese houses were wooden and had paper doors on the floors. They had mats called tatami. They had Japanese beds called futons. People usually put these away in the day because their homes were not very big. Most new houses in Japan are wooden, but many people live in apartments in big buildings. They often have beds, not futons, because their homes are bigger, but many still have some tatami mats. In Japanese homes, there are often Buddhist or Shinto altars, and families come to these small places to pray. There are many Buddhist temples in Japan and also thousands of Shinto shrines. People go there to pray at festivals and at important times. For example, when a child is born like their families, children work very hard. Children must go to school from six years old. But many children begin school at only three or four. Children go to elementary school for six years, and then they move to junior high school and high school. Many children go to classes in things like English and music after their day at school. Children can leave school when they are 15, but more than 90% of children stay at school after that. Many young Japanese people become students for some years. Then they need to find work in the cities. Many people work in business and for the big industries, steel, ships, cars, and electronics. In the countryside, people often live on small family farms, growing things like rice, tea, and apples. Fishing is an important industry in Japan, too. People get fish from the sea or have fish farms. Japanese people work very hard, but family life is very important to them, too. Most Japanese families eat together at home, and some people go to live with their son's or daughter's family when they get old. Old people are very important in Japan, and people are usually polite to them. At weekends, Families often go out together or watch television or play computer games at home.